I ended up in what looked like a dock. There were containers and stuff. The sea was slightly rough. Oh, and there was a storm. Under the rain and the biting cold, the colonel's fate gnawed at my mind. According to Robert, they were moving him. Was it a routine inspection? Would he be returned to his cell? Would they find the radio? He was an old, annoying, tiresome man, but I feared for his life. Until the radio chimed in. It was Channel One. Colonel, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine. Mr. Fox, thank you for asking, but my rank is General, not Colonel. Wait, you're General X? So, Mr. Fox, have you heard? You've become quite the celebrity. I've been dying to meet you since your debut. So I took this hack job of a radio to call you before your inevitable capture. Where's the Colonel? Don't worry about him. He's in good hands. Say hello, Colonel. Fox, run away! Don't listen to this bastard! Get your hands off me, you fucking moron! Colonel! Seniors say such silly things. I join him in wishing you a happy escape, but you know too much. Sooner or later, you will make a mistake. One that'll prove fatal. We'll see about that, General.
she yours? She is. I look after her like a treasure. I want to buy her. <laughs> this beauty costs 50 million dollars. I doubt you can afford it. Just 50 million? I'm a few dollars short. Hold on, I'm going to the ATM. This escape was going to cost me a lot of money. So I searched in the containers. Why in the containers? It's how people usually smuggle money. That's how I bought the ship I would finally escape in. If only a lightning bolt didn't split her in two. Shit! Why are you giving me back the keys? I want my money back. <laughs> Sorry. No refunds. Shit. <laughs>
Are you telling me that a nuclear submarine attacked you? That's what I'm saying. I see. And now you're going to tell me you fought it instead of running away. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me without permission. telling me that a
boss defeated. My triumph was fleeting. The platform collapsed after the ballistic abuse from all the missiles. Sink one of Mr. Fox. Did you just sink one of my submarines? She attacked first. Ah, then it was you. Thank you for revealing your position. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Fox, the comms are fucking lit. They're sending everything they have to the docks. What the hell did you do? I just sank a nuclear submarine. That'll teach it not to launch its missiles at me. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Good thing it wasn't armed with nuclear warheads. They must be saving them for Operation Jericho. Speaking of nukes, hearing a lot of chatter that they're prepping there to the Omega building. Man, if you don't stop them, there's gonna be a worldwide bloodbath. I won't be stopping them. But who else will? I don't care, Robert. Right now, I don't need to be recruited by another colonel to save the world. Right now, I just need to save my ass. And the moment I find anything, even a pull float, I'm getting the hell out of here. Jesse here. Over. Colonel, do you copy? Colonel? Shit, he must have been taken. Nothing in. Inside that hangar, I found what I was looking for. Boats I needed to escape. There was a Zodiac motorboat and a hovercraft. The Zodiac was the faster and more maneuverable choice in the water. But hovercrafts were versatile and could pass over terrain where Zodiacs could not. As I checked the hovercraft, I found out that... 
Its gas tank was empty. Inside that hangar, I found what I was looking for. Inside that hangar? Boss defeated! <laughs> 